Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be giving you a few tips on how to prolong the life of your AMOLED display on your phone and prevent or uh, postpone image burn for as long as you can. Um, so AMOLED displays, just for a quick history lesson, AMOLED displays were popularized by the Nokia N85, which everyone says had the first uh, AMOLED main screen AMOLED display on a phone, but there are a few phones before that use that used their uh, the back of the phone, especially those folding phones, um, on the uh, the back, it used to tell the time, um, the folding phones, uh, the, the display that used to tell the time was usually OLED or AMOLED, but those are really irrelevant. Um, people say that there was a phone before the Nokia N85 that had an AMOLED display, but I can't confirm that. So let's use the N85 as the basis of that. So um, AMOLED displays, once they were popularized, they started getting this thing called image burn, and they also shown they are also shown to be way more fragile than LCD displays. Um, they can take less damage, and over time, if you keep using the same uh, static image like this uh and you don't change it much it's going to burn into the display you know what i'm talking about this happens a lot with store devices because in stores the devices are just left like this on max brightness and it burns into the display over time in this video i'll be showing you how to avoid that and um how to prevent image burn i have an assortment of phones here we got motorola's we got Nokia's, we got uh, Microsoft, we got two Samsung's. They have all OLED and AMOLED displays. We got an iPhone 12 Pro Max here, also an OLED display. Um, and after I talk about this, I'll be explaining the differences between brands and stuff as well, because that also kind of matters. So the first point on how to avoid image burn, especially image burn, is brightness. Leave your brightness as low as possible and use dark mode whenever you can, as well as, it's not that effective, but night mode, because night mode use, uh, reduces the power consumption on your OLED panel. So brightness and dark mode are you re really uh, crucial for AMOLED displays. If you have your brightness up way too much, that causes the burn-in to increase. The, um, the more bright the pixels are, the more chance that they will burn into the display. Dark mode also helps with this because the darker the screen is the most of the time, the uh, the less strain are on the organic pixels. Um, this uh, method has been proven multiple times and you may have already heard it. Leave the brightness as low as you can because um, obviously using it at full brightness all the time is going to ruin the display and it's going to cause image burn somewhere down the line. Um, dark mode again, like I said, use it throughout the phone as you can. And night mode also helps. Proven ways of reducing image burn. Second point, moving apps and widgets around as the colors may stick. So what I said before, if you leave it static like that in one place for too long with your brightness up and all, this image is gonna get burned into the display. This is what you see at uh, phone shops. The display phones have image burn because they're like this for their entire life. They're sitting on a, like a stand-like thing with the same static image on their screen plugged into a charger. That's gonna burn in the display with that same static thing, the, the, the front screen. And when you move it around, you'll see that the front screen still sticks in the back like a ghost. That's because it's been in one place for too long. So move your images and, um, well, move your icons and widgets around, whatever model you're using, whatever phone, whatever brand, move it around as much as you can to avoid image burn. <clears throat> the next thing, heat. Always avoid heat. AMOLEDs and OLEDs are way more uh, susceptible to heat than LCDs. Heat will cause the the uh, the image to get the, the basically the pixels to distort, and you're going to get this white like white hue like thing. And uh, this could happen like while you're cooking. Uh, if you leave the phone near your laptop's exhaust. If you leave it in a hot car in the direct sunlight, avoid heat as much as you can because it's gonna destroy your AMOLED or OLED display. It's simple. Be careful when your phone is near heat. Like I said again, cooking, laptops exhaust, out in the sun, inside a hot car. Just be aware of where you're keeping your phone. Just avoid heat as much as you can. Impact. It's kind of a no-brainer. AMOLEDs and OLEDs are way more susceptible to impact than LCDs. So here's a good example. This 
phone right here. I just did a video on this today as well. Looks fine, right? The, it's got a tempered glass. The, the tempered is scratched up, but everything looks fine, right? No, the display is broken on the inside. If you see those lines like that, the AMOLED has cracked on the inside. The glass hasn't cracked, but the AMOLED has cracked. It's been dropped with considerable amount of force where the glass hasn't cracked, but the AMOLED has cracked because AMOLEDs are way more susceptible to force than uh, LCDs. And as you can see, it's destroyed on the inside. It's all cracked and stuff, but the glass is fine, which is weird. Um, now, I'm not saying that they're really uh, susceptible to damage because um, look at this phone. Uh, this phone was my friend's, the battery's dead. Okay, yeah, so the battery, there's something wrong with the battery on this phone. Um, he accidentally stood on it. Uh, it was my friend's and like I said, he accidentally stood on it. And um, here's the, basically, here's the uh, result of that. But the AMOLED is perfect on the inside. There's nothing wrong. And I was thinking of doing a... Uh, uh, glass only repair on this phone, but uh, I never really had the time. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the AMOLED is fine. It's just the glass that's cracked. Uh, but that also happens. Same with this one. Display turns on, but this phone's battery's dead. But the display turns on, the uh, the glass is cracked in one place there. Um, yeah, avoid impact as much as you can. Newer phones, uh, especially iPhones and Samsungs, they'll get these streaks, like dead pixel streaks across the screen when they're dropped too heavily but it, it it varies, but most of the time you'll see these streaks across the screen. Uh, let's go on to the next point now. Um, please, this, this is kind of a no brain and it's ki kind of being hypocritical here because this one is doing it right now. If these two are doing it, oh, well, these three actually. What I'm saying is always on mode, as you can see, always on, Lumia 950, Nokia N8, always on. Uh, 808 pure view always on always on displays are great they have <clears throat> so much potential for low power uh displaying of messages and whatever the time the clock whatever but this is going to burn in your screen over time i don't think this is a big deal but samsung phones have the always on feature with a bit more brightness and that sticks uh that causes a lot of image burn you may have seen recent reports on the galaxy uh, note 20 the folding cover, half, basically where the folding cover covers the screen, there was a half line like thing. People were saying that the, the screen was getting burned in on the line of the cover. You, you can just Google it and you can see. It was with the Galaxy Note 20 and those were brand new phones. So always on displays are great, but they still will cause your image to burn in. So avoid using always on wherever possible. I know it's kind of hard to avoid. It's a new feature on a lot of phones and like you want to use the feature, but remember it's slowly eating away at your display. But if you're using the phone for like maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, that's fine. The next guy is going to have to deal with that problem. But if you're going to use your phone for a longer period, try to avoid always on displays. And uh, <clears throat> the final point is again, a no brainer. Turn your phone off at night. Notifications are going to uh, keep going to come up and down, like people are going to start messaging you. I don't know who's going to message you at night, but you're still going to get notifications from somewhere, email, whatever, international, while you're sleeping. The display is going to be keep keeping going on, off, on, off, on, off, and it's been doing that throughout the day as well. Give it a rest. Turn it off at night. That's why I all my the my main use phones, even my LCD phones, I turn them off at night and I use another phone as my alarm clock, my iPhone 4S. So off your phone at night and do not put it on charge at night. That's a separate topic on charging your phone overnight and why that's not good. But if you can, I know a lot of people are busy, but if you can turn your phone off, off at night, that will help prevent image burn on your OLED or AMOLED display. Those are the few ways that I wanted to discuss. Now, the rest of this video will be me talking about brands, and um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to get pissed off at this, but that's okay. As you can see, there's a bunch of phones. You've got two Samsungs, Motorola's, Nokia's, Lumia, iPhone 12. These, the, the, the quality of AMOLEDs also depend on the brand. Nokia's, uh, some of the, the older Nokia's, as you can see, we got an E7, we got a Lumia 800, we got a Lumia 900, another 800. Uh, 
C6-01, uh, N8, 808, and uh, <clears throat> we got the 950 by Microsoft. These have really high quality displays. The, this, especially this one, this one's the oldest, I think, of the bunch. Or oh, is it the E7 or the N8? I'm not really sure. Was it this? These four, anyway, are extremely old, but they don't have a single problem with their display. Look at the damage on this in, uh, N8. It's a heavily dinged up phone, but its display is still good. There's no burn in, there's nothing. The display is still good at this age. It was released in 2010. So it's 11 years old. I don't think you'll find a Galaxy S2 or a Galaxy S1 that has a working AMOLED display in 2020. At least a working without image burn. Well, 2021, I keep using 2020, but 2021. Um, so yeah, this shows the quality of Nokia's technology. Um, the same with the E7. Where is it at? Hope its battery's not dead. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it keeps doing that for some reason. That's what happens when you lock these phones. Yeah, but this this phone has a a different issue with its software. Uh, but as you can see, the image when when the display turns on, the image is fine. It's a the image is perfectly fine. Oh boy, turning that phone off is gonna be a pain in the butt. This phone also quite old. Nothing's wrong with its display. Perfectly fine display. Uh, this one also should have some charge. Yep. Perfectly fine, OLED display. This one, someone has tried to open it in the past and has damaged the display. The phone keeps boot looping, it's irrelevant, um, but this is the same, they're basically the same phone. N8, 808 Pure View, again, quite an old phone, no image burn whatsoever. Um, this one I can't show you, but it it's a Samsung, but it also has a okay looking display the this display quality is not that great because this was somewhat of a budget phone this one this one is a store unit that has never been used um i can increase the brightness now uh this phone has never been used as you can see this was a store unit that was sent to a store but never was used and i eventually bought it for real cheap this is a samsung Ative odyssey um and we got some Motorola's over there. Like I said, this one's knocked out, display's broken. This one's battery's dead, but it does work. The display looks fine. This one works fine. Um, what I wanna say is basically, Nokia's and iPhones and LG's usually have better OLED displays than Samsung's. Because if you go back now, you'll be, oops, sorry about that, my camera cut out. Anyway, what I was gonna say was most of you are probably all going to the comments right now, like, well, the first iPhone with an, OLED was the iPhone 10. That was not too long ago, 2017. That's true. But the iPhone 10, if you Google it, the only iPhone 10s that have image burn are the store units and a few user units that have been abused. But the Galaxy S10 has a lot of image burn issues. There are a lot of people already complaining that their phone has image burn. And the Galaxy S10 is way newer than the iPhone 10 which is strange. Like I said earlier, the Galaxy Note 20 had that image burn issue as well. So that proves on a certain level that Samsung has an issue with their OLED or AMOLED quality, which is kind of weird because Apple's OLED panels are manufactured by Samsung themselves. It's designed by Apple, but it's manufactured by Samsung. So it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why that's the case. But what I can say is Samsung does have some of the, if not the best looking OLED and AMOLED technology in the world. Their displays are really great. However, the quality is not that too great. And Nokia, they were not the greatest OLEDs and AMOLEDs, but they're damn sure they're the best in terms of quality. These things are so old, but they still work fine. So yeah, that was just my quick uh, rant after the main part of this video. Anyway, if you watched through uh, until now, thanks for watching. And that was just a few tips and a discussion on how to keep your older displays lasting as long as they can. Hope those tips help you out and I will see you guys in my next video.